All right, guys, Rich here from the RC Network, and this is probably one of my most anticipated items I've been kind of waiting to get in. Um, this uh, servo that you see in front of you is a little bit different than most servos from Savox, and I've been kind of watching this both on uh, Savox's European site, um, and also their European Facebook site. Uh, this has been out for quite some time, actually, overseas, and I've been kind of waiting for it to hit the States. Um, this is one of their new waterproof servos, and I believe they have about three different versions on the market right now, and this is their top-of-the-line one. This one is um, you know, brushless and also cordless, so it definitely packs lots of punch um, as far as the specs. So, of course, you see the nice blue color there. It seems like a lot of the uh, waterproof servos are donning the blue cape on their servo bodies. And this thing is definitely among the top end of those waterproof servos. We'll go over the specs here in just a few minutes, but I, I just... I. I I've been actually dying to get this thing going. Um, as you guys know, I've been doing lots of work with the uh, Slash 4x4 lately, but I have not forgot about that SCX-10 with that great uh, Ford F-250 body. That's a little peak of it right there. Getting ready to actually go ahead and install this servo on that rig. So I can't wait to get this thing wet and really see how it performs. I will be doing some testing, and I've seen... Um, I think one other person has this on YouTube, but they actually uh, dunked this thing in a glass of water and was running it and all sorts of stuff. So you'll see that too here at the RC Network, so stay tuned. So without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox this thing, and we'll kind of go from there. Um, the the coolest thing, you know, on, on Savox servos, I, I think this is probably my seventh or eighth Savox servo. Um, you know, they just keep running, and I... I I've had zero issues with all the different ones. And, and to show you guys, uh, this is my original 1258 TG. This was purchased, um, I think, almost two years ago. And it's still running. I've frayed the wires there. I got some electrical tape on it. You know, it's, it's been in probably five vehicles now uh, throughout my uh, length of stay here at the RC Network. And, uh, you know... It's just tried and proven. I, I really believe in their servos, and I know there's lots of people that uh, either don't like them or you know they have their preference, which and that's totally cool. I'm just showing you guys simply, you know, that it works for me. So uh, let's go ahead and unbox this new 1210 SG servo. Um, I, I just dig the the blue color on it, and that's not blue plastic. That is blue anodized aluminum which is really, really cool. So let's go ahead and unbox this thing so we don't get so much glare off of everything. And we'll kind of go from there. So, you know, once again, you get the great Savox little boxes. I use these things for all sorts of things, uh, miscellaneous parts and keeping different vehicle parts together. And I really dig them. They're plastic, you know, they're reusable, you know, don't, don't kill the earth, all that good stuff. Um, looks like they have some new graphics on this thing. They got the waterproof logo right there. They have uh, something that states, looks like RIT, I'm not sure exactly what that is, uh, and an IP67. I'll have to do some research on what all that stuff means, but all in all it has a nice little waterproof logo and looks like it's splashing in the water right there, like it's dunking in a pool. It has the waterproof right below the Savox. So as far as specs on this thing, let's take a look at those. Um, speed 0.15, so pretty speedy for a uh, not only a waterproof, but something that has this much torque, 277.7. So that's going to have just tons of torque for my SCX-10. I am going to be running 1.9s on this thing, so this is just tons of torque for it. So um, 71 is the, uh, the grams in the weight, so this is a little bit taller servo, and I'll do a comparison here with my 1258 here in just a few minutes. Um, let's go ahead and unbox this thing. So we get our typical kind of Savox holder there. Let's look at some of the other parts first before we go into that. So it looks like you get your typical hardware stuff, which once again, they give you these great kind of 
large shoulder screws to really kind of hold onto your servo. Of course, you get all the little rubber grommets and whatnot, which is definitely appreciated. Um, other stuff, lots of little servo horns and whatnot. Um, not the huge one that usually comes with them. And you also got the little screw right there and also the little lock nut to keep it all nice and tight. So as far as uh, other stuff in here, we got our normal Savox stickers, which is all good. Love keeping those things around. And also kind of like a little business card here looking thing. Just uh, the warranty information, one year, all good. I've never actually had to use a warranty on a Savox servo, so that's pretty cool. Glad that they're offering it, but I've never needed it, so let's uh, see if we can't drag this out of here. Very short uh, receiver lead, or yeah, receiver lead, it's uh, probably all in all about six inches in length. Normal receiver plug on there, and it goes up to, I'm just noticing this, a little rubber grommeted entrance into that anodized blue aluminum case, so... Got the cool waterproof logo right there. Flip side, you got the Digit 4096 cordless servo. Cordless basically means that right when you start to move the dial, you're going to get immediate torque. It's not going to lag at all. And then that cool deep blue logo right there, 1210SG. That stands for their steel gear, and they're using a unique steel gear. So lots of people uh, kind of are partial to titanium, which is great, uh, but these steel gears are definitely strong. I have been using a 1283 SG for quite some time with no problems at all. You'll notice there's a couple of screws up here, and it looks like that's going to be basically keeping that top cap on, and I'm sure they have some sort of waterproofing agent inside to kind of keep the water out. Only servo I've seen from Savox to have actually screws on the top, so pretty cool all in all. I'm really digging this thing. Can't wait to get that installed on my SCX-10. You'll notice six screws on the bottom here. I'm going to do a quick comparison on my uh, 1258. You'll see here, here's the 1258. Uh, just four screws on the bottom of that one, six screws on the waterproof one. As far as the top, you'll see here, and I got my horn still on there, so bear that in mind. You'll see the two screws there on the waterproof one. And as far as size, uh, this is definitely a taller servo uh, than a standard one. And you'll see here, it adds uh, inches, probably an eighth of an inch to the body. So definitely make sure for your application that this will fit on your rig, especially if you've got anything behind the servo that it mounts onto. So all in all, that's the new 1210 SG waterproof servo from Savox. Really liking this thing. Can't wait to get it installed. I got the kind of matching uh, blue theme going on, of course, with the uh, SCX-10. And that's it for now, guys. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. If you have any questions about this servo or the RC network, please post it on down below. And as always, thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now, guys. Over and out.